Hey there, it's Casey Demon here, TaxSellAcademy.com. Thank you for joining us on our weekly question segment. This week's question comes to us from uh, Takesha. Is it safe to use Zillow for quick estimates of value? Actually, I answered a similar question to this talking about tax assessments uh, not too long ago. So this is a tactic used by a lot of people. They'll go to Zillow, they'll get the Zillow estimate of value, and then they think that that number is like the holy grail evaluation. Like the property has to be worth that. And in some situations, uh, if you have enough margin built in, you could probably use Zillow and be okay. But it's also an approach that could easily come back and haunt you at some point. So Zillow estimates of value cause a lot of aggravation to realtors. It causes more aggravation than most people can even imagine. And while they are somewhat of an easy way to simply log online, type an address, and get some sort of valuation, my suggestion is to stop looking for the easy way because easy does not always mean accurate. And when you're talking investments, you want accurate opposed to easy. I can promise you that, especially come the first time when that value is so far off that you lost a lot of money. But the Zillow numbers are inaccurate in many situations, especially in an active market or for vacant properties and get this one for distressed properties as well. So that value of $150,000 might be true for that property, but Zillow does not know that in order for it to be worth the fair market value of $150,000, it needs $80,000 worth of work to make it livable. I've had probably a dozen people over the years tell me that Zillow said it was worth this, so they bought it based on that number as an investment. And then the conversation transitions to the property not being worth anywhere near that figure. And they eventually ask me, what can I do to get out of this investment without losing my tail? The only way to value properties is to do it the correct way. And that's through proper due diligence and by reviewing comparable properties, which by the way, does not take much more time than going to Zillow if you know what you're doing. Now with all this said, There are some features that I do like about Zillow. It's a great way to find old listing info, maybe old interior photos. It's a great way to find properties listed in the area. I also use it sometimes as I drive through different areas. I'll pull out the app on my cell phone just to see what's going on in the market as I drive through that area if I'm not familiar with it. So it can be a good tool, but do not rely on Zillow for evaluations. Again, it might be easy, but we should be concerned with what is accurate. If you rely on Zillow for all your valuations, you're going to get yourself in trouble sooner or later. Uh, Takesha, I hope this answers your question. If you have a follow-up question or anybody else watching this video has a question, feel free to leave it down below in the comments section of this video or any of our videos here on YouTube. And as always, for more information, check out TaxSellAcademy.com. Take care. Bye-bye.